Hello, my name is Eric, and I'm a pediatric physical therapist at Spot for Tots in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you're new here, our objective for this YouTube series is to educate parents on what a physical therapist is looking for in your child and ways you can help guide development. Just as your journey begins, ours will begin with considerations regarding newborns up until about one year of age. Thanks for watching. Hi everybody. Hey Wally. So today we're going to talk about sleep positioning and what's best for your child. Parents will ask, my baby's uh, head is flat, a little more flat on one side or the pediatrician um, sends the parents in with a referral for a plagiocephaly um, or a flat spot on the baby's head. And um, how we attack that initially is sleep positioning and then to make a schedule so that way your baby is symmetrically sleeping. If your baby's always sleeping with to the left, then over time the skull can flatten on that side and that can lead to the diagnosis of plagiocephaly and then that could be why you're here getting physical therapy. And the first thing we're going to teach is uh, the parents how to position their kid throughout the night. Okay, so a question we often get here is what is the ideal sleeping environment for your infant? Uh, the answer to that question is you want to have firm sleeping surface. You also want to avoid any loose bedding, sheets, pillows, wedges, anything that could be a suffocation risk for your infant. Uh, you want to also sleep in the same room as your child. Uh, that being said, you don't want to sleep in the same bed, uh, just the same room. And you want to avoid overheating. And, and that means if you swallow your child, for example, uh, you want to watch out for signs of overheating. Like we said, sleeping on the back, also known as a supine position, is the safest. But with that, you want to make sure your baby turns their head to the right, turns their head to the left, looks up, and just do your best to keep it symmetrical. I <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, recommended uh, right as of now is there's nothing else in your crib with your baby, right? The mattress only. We don't want any wedges, pillows, rolled up towels in the, in the crib with the baby. It's a, an increased risk for suffocation. And uh, yeah, we, for now, baby only in the crib. Do you have any questions, Wally, about how to put your baby down to bed at night? So it's recommended to put your baby to sleep on his or her back. It's the safest option. That goes for the, the entire first year of life. If your baby can roll to his or her side or stomach earlier than a year, then it's okay. But for now, put your baby to sleep on their back to be safe. Well, on their back, there is a reduced risk for SIDS. And so SIDS is Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. And uh, there is a marked reduction as far as the odds are concerned when your baby is sleeping on his or her back versus when she is, he or she is placed on the stomach. It's a very, very another common question is uh, parents will say, okay, my baby sleeps much better on their side or stomach versus their back. And uh, the simplest answer I can give you is it's a safety reason, a safety concern. They may sleep better on their stomach, but then you have a higher risk of SIDS, right? So uh, your baby will get used to sleeping on his or her back, and it's, it's the safest option for now. And I do understand the concern and the frustration of all of that. Any more questions about? Gotcha. So how do you keep your baby on their back? And you don't have to worry so much about keeping them on their back because once they can roll to the side of their stomach, then it's okay for them to sleep on their stomach. Uh, but you, I mean, there's a lot of opinion on uh, swaddling and uh, what kind of pajamas you put your kids in, but swaddling is a way to help your baby sleep a little more sound, especially when they're on their back. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you need further clarification on the topics discussed in this video, seek guidance from your pediatrician and pediatric physical therapist. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel and visit wallywombats.com.